What is up you guys, this is I on Mega Drive Adam here. And I thought I'd do a pickup video, yet yeah, another pickup video for the month of May 2021. So this is all the stuff I got. These two I actually got last month, but I didn't include in the last pickup video because I didn't have them at the time. And same with this one. But these are all, I picked up from a lot of, I picked up a couple of games and I also picked up manga. So let's get started. First game, first thing we got is uh, this Super Saiyan God uh, Goku with the red hair from Dragon Ball Super. Only bought this guy for 25 bucks. You know, not bad, not a bad deal. And I also bought this OG Balma from Dragon Ball. Uh, I bought this, I bought this figurine for like also around the same price I bought him, but at the swap meet. And I also bought this bootleg Goku, which I assume it was from 2003, around the time that, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z was done airing on uh, Toonami, and they were getting ready to air uh, Dragon Ball GT, but, um, yeah, I have this guy. Then for video games, we got for the PS2, have yet to try this out yet, but this is uh, Wizardry, the, the Tale of the Forsaken Land. Apparently, this game is, like, very rare. So rare, in fact, that the guy only had the disc only, and he, he sold it to me for 30 bucks. Have yet to try it out. For the GameCube, we got SSX on Tour, which I needed this game for my GameCube collection, because I was looking for this game for a while. But I have it. It's not bad. For the PS5, we got Judgment. Very fun game. I can't wait for Lost Judgment. This game is good. And then I got Resident Evil Village, which right now I'm currently stuck at this one part where you have to like go inside the house of the Red Chimney back to the graveyard. Unfortunately, I gotta look up how you can get, get in, but you know, I'm stuck on that part right now. But from what I play, this game's actually pretty fun. I like it. And then for manga, we got Volume 5 of My Hero Academia. Um, very good, very good series. I love the anime. Have, I've read, I've already read volumes one through three digitally but i have not yet to read volumes four and five because it just came in the mail today so yeah but yet yeah, here we go let me just move these fuckers down here let's get let's get to the meat and potatoes of the pickup the roni kenshin manga so i, I picked up the roni kenshin manga for roughly around 187 dollars it was 157 on Macari, but shipping was like like I don't know an extra like 30 bucks. So in total, it came out to 187, which is not bad. But um, yeah. But without further ado, let's get started and look at the covers. Here's the cover of Volume One. I'm sorry, you guys. Out of the out of, out of all the covers that came out between 94 and 99 for this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, volume One, in my opinion, has to be one of the most ugliest covers I ever seen. I'm sorry, the art, the cover art for here doesn't look all that great for Volume 1 in my personal opinion, but here it is. Then here's Volume 2, which Volume 2 doesn't look nearly as ugly, but it's still not all that great in my personal opinion. But, it gets better from there. It's not until Volume 3 that the art got better, like, I feel like the art, the cover art got better with Volume 3. So here's Volume 3, here's Volume 4. Here's volume five. Hold on, let me just reset the music. Hold on. Then here's volume six. Volume seven. Volume eight. Volume nine. Volume 10. Volume 11. Look, for the record, volume volume eleven has one of the most badass covers in the manga. Look at that! Look at him. This, this is this is him when he was Batosai, Batosai. Volume twelve, volume thirteen, volume fourteen, volume fifteen. This is also the second most badass cover in the manga. Volume 16. Volume 17. Volume 18, which I think this is where the Gen Su arc begins in the manga. Because, this, again, 
they were gonna adapt the, this part. They're gonna, they were going to adapt this arc in the anime, but for whatever reason, that never ended up happening. So that kind of sucks right there. Volume 19. Volume 20. Volume 21. Volume 22. Volume 23. Volume 24. Volume 25. Volume 26. Volume 27. And last but not least is volume 28. And just like that, that just about covers it. This is all the pickups I got throughout the month of May of, and even early, late April to, of 2021. Now, I know what you're going to say. I know I am. I know what you're going to say. I was already aware of the controversy surrounding Nobuhiro Waski on how much he's a he's a he's a he's a, a mangaka that's a sex offender, which he's a mangaka that likes likes child porn. Like he watches child porn with of like of like between of like kids between late elementary to like early to mid middle school. And I'm just like, ugh. But I know there is a saying you could separate the art from the artist. I did not pick this manga up for him. I only picked it up because of the Jinsu arc that was never adapted into the anime. And that is the reason why I bought the manga. So, yeah, I mean, the anime is good. I mean, I like the anime up until, like, after the Shishio arc concluded in the anime that it just became nonstop filler. Like, season three became nothing but nonstop filler. But um, yeah. With I, with that being said, and with that out of the way, I don't support Nobuhiro Waski, but I do want to read the Jinsu arc. But anyways, this has been Mega Drive Adam signing the fuck out, and uh, have a good rest of your night, guys. Wherever you're at, peace.